Uh, one, I saw your hand, so I didn't see a ring on your finger. So are you married? No. Mm -hmm. Are you in a relationship? No. Mm -hmm. May I ask why? Um, personally, I feel like my goal and my intentions when it comes to life is way different. Like my goal and hold on. I'm talking in circles. I'm a little bit drunk right now. So please, 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 please don't judge me. But um, the only reason why I'm not married is because I'm not going to sit here and be like the rest of the bitches that be like niggas ain't shit. Niggas, you know, niggas in general could be different in ways. Like, people are different, period. So, you can never just be like niggas in general aren't shit. The, maybe the bitches that you, maybe the niggas that you come across aren't shit. But the niggas I came across aren't shit. And yes, I know there are people out there who will possibly, like, you know, satisfy my happiness. And I don't ask for much. But it'd be hard for them to give me what I want. So, I'd rather just wait mm -hmm. for it to come to me and just make my money. Like, it's that's only right. Just focus on me. I feel like I should just give in more time into me because I missed out on that just to fill in people's bottles once mine was empty. So, When you say men don't give you what you want, what are you talking about? It could just be quality time. It could be like... It don't even got to be about taking me out. Like, just seeing your face and being around you is all that matters. Like, hearing what's on your mind. Because people tend to, like, forget that men have feelings, too. So, just little shit like that. Like, if we could just sit here and chill and talk about how you feel. Run money up together. Count it up under the candlelights together. What, like... buddy? <laughs> Wait. If he's spending all this time with you and chilling with you, what money? Minute. That's the thing, though. I, I One thing about it, it's not only just, like, spending time with me. Like, I could leave a nigga alone to do what he got to do. Yes, baby, go chase that bag. Because at the end of the day, I'm not just going to be your girlfriend. I'm not going to be a partner. I'm going to be your mother. At, I can't be your mother, of course. But, like, I'm going to play that part where, like, you know, it's something a mother would do, like. Yeah, but see, do you, what you gotta do. You said girlfriend though. Men don't want to spend money on somebody that's not their wife. That's true, and I, that's understandable. But so what? You don't think you're asking for a little much? You're expecting a man to do all this, and y'all ain't even married. But that's the thing, though. I'm not dating to just like date. I'm dating to putting money. I'm dating to putting quality time. I'm dating to put time. Period. Because time is money. Time is everything you could ever ask for if you really think about it it's up to you to put up what you want to put up with your time but if i'm putting in time for somebody who just who claimed they genuinely love me and this and that do the same for me because once you tell me that i'm gonna like put my guard down and be like okay maybe i should give this person a shot i don't date to just be all up in your face and be like hey babe how you doing no i love to cook for my man i love to listen to my man i love to be with my man and if you gotta run that money up do that too like i like to support my man on the side i will be his favorite cheerleader yes because in real life love is not just dating it's 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 partnership it's team like it's it's really like something you gotta invest in as well and what age what age range do you date Around my age. Once again, like I said before, what money? <laughs> a man who's in his 20s to, makes it sound like you want a man who's making like six figures, right? But that's the thing, though. No, I don't care about that. Like, yes, you do. I'm not. You would, no, you would no, care listen, if he worked at McDonald's. You would care if he worked at McDonald's. Listen, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a flying fuck. As long as you're doing something to better yourself and feed into your dreams is all I care about. I don't give a fuck. Like, that's all I want. I want to learn from you. That's that's what I want. I like a nigga I can learn from because I'm not going to be right all the time. Bitches are not right all the time. Okay? That's one thing bitches need to learn. When a nigga want to tell you, like, to shut the fuck up, you shut the fuck up and listen to your man. Classy. Okay? You're a classy. What? Ma'am, I'm on. a bad bitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, 
Okay. And that's why bitches be losing niggas. Because when they get ignorant and start chatting and chatting, they lose what the fuck could have been better for them. And maybe I'm better talking in circles. Hold on. Rewind. Rewind. Um, okay. I just want a nigga to better himself in front of me so I could better myself as well. And it don't got to be like, oh, make six figures to take me out. We could literally do a picnic in the crib or just like buy food and chop uh, it up. Ma'am, I can, I can hear you. You can, you can bring it down. I can hear you. Oh, oh, sorry. We could, we could, buy, <laughs> we could buy food and um, just sit down and talk and watch videos that is of his liking and my liking and just chill. Like, it don't got to be, like, taking me to Benihana's, Nobles. Like, these shits is cool and all, but these are materialistic shit. Like, right. it comes and goes. When you die, you cannot take it with you at the end of the day. So. Yeah, but you, did you know what kind of, you know what kind of men can do all that stuff with you? What? Broke men. Oh, okay. (laughs) Tell me something. I'm hearing you. (laughs) Ma'am, you said earlier, I want to count money under the candlelight. You only going to have a candlelight because there ain't going to be no lights on. You know what I'm saying? No. Okay. See, when I said that, it was just like, like on some like bond and shit. I did not. I did not. I didn't. My fault. But like I was saying, when I said, hold on, hold on, hold on. When I said counting money under the candlelights, it was very much like just us coming from a day of hustle and we just like, we feel me? Yeah, we we loving each other and being in a relationship, but we need business, business as well. Like, I don't mean like just counting money literally under the candlelights. My perception of that is like just hustling and coming back home don't where home is at and just like doing what we gotta do you sound like you want a man who makes fast money though no though no 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 see Mm -hmm. people lives are different and Mm -hmm. you know people go through different things and we gotta understand that um at the end of the day i can't just be like oh this is what i want if I don't know what I'm capable of, and I do know what I'm capable of, which is why I have a standard. It's not like a um, physical standard. It's more like a mentality standard. You just got to be on your shit. What, what's and on your shit? Time. Explain that record. What's on your shit? Because you said you have a standard. What are, you, what are you doing that requires you to have a standard? Um, I just don't want to feel me like. When I didn't have a standard, I was just letting niggas be niggas. And see, that I mean, ain't... Damn. You know can, we, I mean? can we ever be called men instead of niggas? Okay, men... Okay, I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. My fault. Okay. um, Men be men. That's true. Let men be men. But when you adapt to a certain type of men, it's kind of like you... Especially when it's not bringing you, like comfort at all it kind of make you feel like you gotta switch it up a little bit and my type of man just gotta be somebody who who know themselves enough to be comfortable with themselves and even when you fall like even when you feel like you're not in the state where you are powerful or energetic just know that you could be vulnerable about around me because I understand females could be females at times. Don't get me wrong. Females nowadays is crazy, but not every female is going to be like that. And that's where I had to separate the men that I used to be with versus the men that could be out there. So therefore I feel like my type of men is out there. I didn't give up on love. What type so I'm of men? Hold on, let, let me let's break it down just a little bit. Cause you say type of men, he's cool. He I'm he shy. likes himself. Yeah, but like, <laughs> what? Like you say you wouldn't date Billy on fries at McDonald's, right? No, I okay. don't mind. I don't. Okay, okay. Let me let me break it down to you. Cause yeah. maybe you're not listening to me clearly. Like, yeah, I need money. Um, I need type of job. I need the little looks. No, it, something. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, the looks it used to be a thing growing up, you know. But now it's like it's not even with the, like what was out, you know, the out. Hold on, I'm a little drunk. Let me catch myself because <laughs> you got me started. 
Okay. Let me catch myself. Matter of fact, let me pick this computer up. Okay. Um, it's not about the niggas, like, oh, the men, like, like, your physical, whatever, whatever, is really within, like, um, you really gotta, even if you're broken, whatever, whatever the case may be, like, I just want you to mentally click with me, like, once I feel like I mentally click with you, and it takes a hard time for me to mentally click with somebody, because I don't even fuck with bitches, oh my god, <laughs> like, I don't even fuck with bitches, I don't fuck with nobody. So for you to click with me mentally, that will play a big part. And if I like want like find interest in you, that's when I know like okay, cool, you cool. Um, you don't gotta have like this big job where you're making figures and we're living rich. Like people have their stories and people need to understand that. I could meet you now where you're just having a casual job and we could grow together and make millions together. You never know. So I don't judge people off that because it don't matter. <laughs> like, you just got to do what you got to do and stand on what you mean. Don't be like this lazy motherfucker who talks about what you what you can do. Thank you. I want you to put it into action because, I mean, not it, a lot of people even have the mindset to do that. So okay. for you to have that mindset... Man, is awesome. so the money does matter. You just said we could make millions together. Yeah, because I feel like anything is possible if you put your mind to it. No, 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 oh. <laughs> no, no, ma'am. You don't go. You don't. You're not Billy on fries with no ambition and go from that to millionaire. Okay, sir. My fault. <laughs> so, ma'am, I, I don't mind you having standards. But you talking about, I want him to click with me mentally. And I want him to be chill. You got to have the right vibe, the right energy. But then we can make millions together. Motherfuckers who are going to be making millions ain't got time to do all that shit. There's no way. You're right. They You're can't right. click with you. They can't right. be like, hey, babe, are we clicking? They can be like, hey, babe, I'll see you in a couple days. <laughs> that's You're what right. it's going to be. You're right, though. And it's like that. It's really like that. And that's the sad part about it. But I'm not trying to say there's like this imaginary shit I got going on that's gonna happen but I'm looking forward to it you know like I feel like I if I could click with somebody in the future we could figure some shit out because what can possible. you do though what can you, what skills do you have that would get you even to sniff a million um just do me uh, and nothing ma'am. nothing nothing no hold on hold on hold on let me eat you up real quick <laughs> she said uh, being ooh, me go no, ahead no, 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 hey. <laughs> but um I feel like if I do what I'm destined to do, even if it's something I didn't plan of, because at the end of the day, your plans is not God's plan. So if God planned for you, this is what is destined for you. Oh, you gosh. do it for God. You do it for, you know? And then, like, just chill. Whoever come across me and is genuine about it, because people are going to come to you to hurt you, and some people are going to come to you to teach you a lesson. Some people are going to come to you to show you love. Claim and shut the fuck up! My um, la boy. I'm so sorry. I got a little chihuahua on the side, but like I was saying, I'm mm-hmm. about to beat this shit. The fuck, come on. But like I was saying, like you know, like I don't. I'm. You feel me? I forgot your question. This dog is barking. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I know what the fuck I said, and I will forever stand ten toes on it. Man, like, stand ten toes on what? That God's gonna magically give you a million dollars? You ain't got no skills? You gonna no, show up? No, but, but God, but God's gonna make sure life is great. Even though, like, I'm going through what I'm going through, God's gonna make sure I go through what the fuck I go through just so I can learn. And then he will give me what I need because God is not gonna make it easy for nobody. Need Everybody got to play a role. Okay, but ma'am, getting your needs met in millions? <laughs> That's a big gap. Okay, maybe I said millions, <laughs> but I don't necessarily mean millions. Like, let's be fucking for real. I, <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. Let's I'm be for real. Like me. I'm not the white man. So. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah, No, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not gonna let you get away with that now. Okay, no, 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 no. But it, in reality, like, you really gotta feel me. Like, let's be fucking for real. Like, let's, for example, Kanye, he, yeah, he's up there and stuff, but he had to no. give in something so important 
to get where he wanted to get to. And maybe it's not true, maybe it's not, but I truly believe off my end that he had to give up a lot. And the black man don't get away easily. Man, okay, first let's of all, man, let's Wait. hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. You talk oh. about entertainer. See, that's that's why in no fist towards you, I know you don't live that life. But I can right. tell you're not around businessmen who work in corporate world because you named an entertainer. There's plenty of black men who are making great money, even millions, yeah, exactly. that you don't know who they are because they're not entertainers. And don't get me wrong, but, my love. But see, do not get me wrong. I understand that. And people who play that role, I don't know. They are not the outcasts. They're doing what they need to do and they're laying low. And that's the best way you can live life. But somebody who's out there, the only reason why I pick Kanye is because he's black. He's black. And um black people don't win all the time. We barely win. And how many white people lose? A lot. Mm. See, mm. there you go. You see, you make it to where see, it was crazy because back in the 1960s when black men were trying to compete, it was so crazy. But yeah. now they didn't go saying, well, because of the white man, there's no way I could ever make it. They at least try. Today, when we see black men succeeding everywhere, you always get a subsection of black people are like, uh, but the white man. And guess what? Those people will always lose. Those are the black people okay. that can't make it in life because they, they, they're they not competitive enough. They always blame somebody else. Okay. It's the same thing I hear from even men who aren't black. When a man says, oh, I can't succeed because I'm not a woman. It's like, motherfucker. Oh. Teach me something. You know what's so crazy? Talking to you, it's not like I'm like brushing off what you're saying. I'm learning something. And you're actually right. Because I have never even thought about it that way. <laughs> but the only reason why I like tend to like say the white man, the white man, is really because like the white man. Like, and I'm not just saying that just because like if you think about it, like at the end of the day, Yes, they gave us some type of power, but at the end of the day, they set us up and we set ourselves up two feet into what the fuck they do. Man, so we you, make it no better for us. Do you know what the, uh, have you ever heard the analogy, crabs in a barrel? Mm -hmm. You know what that means? Explain it to me. Let me hear your side. Girl, you're only saying it because you don't know what it means, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Girl, <bye. laughs> okay, whatever, whatever. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. So, crabs in a barrel, right? If you were to put crabs in a barrel, mm -hmm. no crab can get out of that barrel. Why? Because the other crabs always pull the crab back down. And so they all end up dying because the other crabs won't let any other crab out. It's yeah. the same thing we see with black people. Is anytime black people start oh to succeed, God, what? what because well, as soon as black people start to succeed, what comes out? Oh, he's this. Oh, he's that. Oh, look at how he acts. Oh, you know what? If I sold my soul to the devil, I could do the same thing. It's like, I don't hear country artists, since you went with Kanye, I don't hear country mm -hmm. artists saying, oh my God, Taylor Swift made it because she sold her soul to the devil. No, but as soon as the black man does it, they go, oh, you know what? I could have been a famous rapper, but I didn't sell my soul to the devil. Or it could be you're not fucking good at rapping. It could be that. It can't always be when black people succeed. It's because we gave our soul to the devil. Right? Hmm. I mean, that, that makes it sound bad on us. Like, damn, you're saying we're so bad at everything black people do. We have to sell our souls to the devil just to succeed. It's crazy. Okay. And that's the crabs in the barrel mentality. I like that mentality. And I like how you painted the picture for me to understand. Ma'am, so let's get to the real stuff. Uh, why don't you have a man right now? Um, Like I said, um, I'm focusing on me. I feel like I gave him too much, too much time into a relationship, actually. Like, when I was putting in a lot of time for a relationship, it, it really ain't get me nowhere because I don't like talking about it because I just, it's nothing with me. Like, yes, I played a part. Mm -hmm. I will say that. I will play a part where I was being ignorant at times. And that's where my feelings, I put my feelings before my knowledge. But you cheated. You cheated before anything. You, you, that's when I felt like you let go. You really like let go. And how long have you been cheating? I don't know. <laughs> the fuck? Um, I love hard, so 
How long I feel you, like how, I've been disrespected. How long are you going to focus on yourself? Like, what's the time frame on that? Um, To be honest, until I feel like I'm, like, oh, shit. I really got to see a, not a drastic difference, but, like, uh, just till I feel somewhat, like, better with myself. Because when I've, like, when I went through my breakup, um, I don't want to say God, because, you know, I don't know what you got going on with your religion, this and that, and just keep bringing up God is probably another story. But when I was alone, like, I realized, like, I've learned a lot about myself. So, <laughs> bitch, fuck you up. My fault, my sister, but, um, when I was alone, I realized, like, I, I'm capable of a lot of things that I didn't even know I was capable of. I feel like I put in time into something that could have been, but the person ch chose otherwise, and I played a part in it, yes. I fed into, like, his demonic actions where I was ignorant. I could have shut the nigga off right there, but I was feeding into it like, oh, you better not cheat again because this and that. And that made me toxic in a way. And I don't like being like that because life could be peaceful, you know, if you want that for yourself. Um, I'm, I'm single because the person that is meant for me has not yet arrived. And you, okay, <clears throat> that last part though is dangerous because when oh. you put that kind of presence on somebody, they be like, I "Well, I'm I waiting was for." Going for a little side scene just now. <laughs> huh? Well, no, it's just that when you when you put such expectations on somebody, like when God brings them to me, you're gonna expect this man to be damn near perfect. But that's the thing, though. because I if he slips up, you're gonna be like, "Ah, must have been God." No, no, not at all. Because people are people at the end of the day, and we make mistakes. I make mistakes as a female, as a woman. I'm going to make mistakes. And when my man makes mistakes, that could be, like, talked about, situated. We are going to talk. I'm the female to go to my room with my man. No phones. Just a pillow on that floor. And we can sit on that pillow and talk about what's bothering us. God. What's on the fucking mind. Before I leave that room, we have to get it all out. And even if you don't feel like talking about it today, as long as we even spoke on something when I leave that room. And when we leave that room, we're going to have great sex and go to sleep. Oh, and God. Tell me. We're gonna have some calm sex, or we don't even have to have sex. But Why? we're gonna we're gonna chill. Yeah. We're gonna chill. I, I just, of me personally, I'm, okay. <laughs> Man, what are we talking about? Sex? What? First of all, <clears throat> all right. You sorry. know what it sounded like? Sorry, that's, YouTube. We're gonna have great. No, please. that's fine. YouTube doesn't care if you say that. But you, you, you sounded like you were talking about a woman. You said we're gonna go sit on the pillow. And talk no, it out. like okay, you know that Chinese. Okay, let me not even be, cause I don't know if you recorded. No, T, no, Jay. You know that little for me when they put the couch. I said the couch on the floor. What right? the pillows on the floor and they sit on the pillow like side by side. Like one person is on is on one side, next person on is, is on the next side, and we're just like chilling, like talking about what's on our minds, what's bothering us, what could we do from here. What's, what what could we, like, feel me? I don't know how to explain it. Like, Man, it's, it, I get what you're saying. And no offense towards you. But I just feel like you would drive a man fucking insane. Oh, what? What? How? Man, all this. I've been I trying need, to be need... a nigga peace. Like, uh, I really That's not how love. you do it. Oh. All this, well, we need to sit down. We need to talk it out. I need no, to be able to do this. Thing, but though. you said earlier, you're talking about chilling together, spending time, connecting, this all that. Like a man's hearing that, a man who hears that is going to be like, girl, I just want to come home and eat a sandwich. You know what I'm saying? I'm That's not trying to thing, do though. all that shit. When I was saying that, it wasn't like me and saying so strategically, like, we're going to do this every day eh? and we're going to just like, oh, I'm getting mad because you got me fucked up. <laughs> Hold on, let me sit up. I'm telling you the truth, it's man. It's not... 
it's not like I'm saying like, oh, every day we gotta talk about it. We gotta like, say, what's on your mind? Cause once a nigga hit you with a leave me alone, I don't wanna talk about it. I will, I'm the bitch to leave a nigga alone. I'm not about to sit here and be like, baby, what's on your mind? Please talk to me. No, if you say leave me alone, your wish is granted. Like, I understand people grieve differently, but then again, it's okay to talk about what's on your mind. What are you talking about grieving? I said he just came home from work. He just wants to eat a sandwich. Okay, yes, yes. <laughs> but I think a motherfucker go through something after that every day somebody go through something. Okay. It could be the littlest shit is something, okay? Okay, So man. when a nigga come home from work and he's sitting there. Okay, man. I can you hear you. What's going on? See how you're okay, getting really? all loud? See, I don't know if a man wants to come home to that. Okay, because... Uh... See, I, I want to fight. <laughs> exactly. I could tell you got that energy in you. And see, I don't know. I feel like if you got mad at a man, he would get this. He would get yum, 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 yum. Just whoa, 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 whoa. I need you to be a little bit more no, feminine. It's not going to be that because it's different. Like when I'm in love, I, I humble myself. <laughs> I humble myself. Like, yes, my friends and sister and they gonna get all that yapping but with my man it's like a different type of respect it's only because it's like it's not only just love but two individuals colliding together to make something beautiful so if i wanted to want to keep it like not pitch perfect but like at least calm i'm gonna respect my man and hear him out like i said that's the problem. Females tend to like, no, it's not because females tend to like always have something to say. Da -da -da, da -da -da, and never want to hear their nigga out. But sometimes your man have to say something too. Sometimes, not even, men have feelings too. Could we, could we normalize that? No. Men have feelings too? No. But that's the thing though. Why? Why you, do people have you feelings? Because you want us to have feelings like women have feelings. Us no, men, we, men can talk have... amongst other men and get our feelings mm -hmm. out. But the way you're saying right. it is if I have to get on your level of feelings. Men have feelings, but no. we normally talk to our boys about it. It's it... not that. Like, I don't want you to sit there and be like, sis, cry to me. Like, no. It, to be honest, I just want you to, like, tell me what's on your mind. Because your mind could get heavy at times as a person. And sometimes... It's hard to even let it out to anybody. But I want to be in that comfort zone where I could tell my man, you can talk to me. And it's not like, oh, talk to me so I could throw it in your face when I'm mad. No, mm -hmm. that's a different level of disrespect. If I ever sit there and tell my man some shit, he told me when he was vulnerable with his feelings, and he'd be like, you see, this is why I wish I never told you. I will literally like beat myself up. Because it's like, you're right. You was vulnerable with your feelings. You shared what you had on your mind. And now I'm here throwing it in your face. I don't like doing things that I wouldn't wish happened to me. Treat others how you want to be treated is what people need to understand. I'm just saying not I'm giving you a little bit of a pass because you said you've been drinking. But earlier when, we, when I said <laughs> you would be like, I could see you doing that same thing to a man. Because I'm a man. Most women who are naturally feminine, they treat all mm -hmm. men the same. You're saying I wouldn't do that to my man. You shouldn't talk to any man like that. You were yelling aggressively at me like I was a, a woman. It's like, come on now. You're right. And don't get me wrong that you're right. There's no, like, argument about that. But okay, I mean, You sound like um, you got a head on your shoulder, sister. It just sounds like it's just, you need to just adjust it a little bit. You think so? Yeah, I think you're about right there, but do you got single friends? No, that's the crazy thing. I'm like, all my friends are older than me, huh. and then they're all like in relationships, but they come to me about the situation. Uh, that's stupid. Are they married? <laughs> How is that stupid? Because you're alone. I, I was. <laughs> I was doing me with my man, but like I'm alone now. Um, <laughs> he cheated, so I, I'm sorry. No offense with you, but I'm not. I don't know if as a, a person in a relationship, I'm coming to somebody who doesn't have anybody, and 
the one man that they said was good cheated. Right. I mean, now, mm-hmm. I'm not going to kill him for cheating because I don't know how often he did it or if he just had a slip up. I don't normally do that and kill a man for that. But mm-hmm. let me say this, though. Are any of them married? One. Well, two. Yeah, two. Okay. And so maybe you need to talk to them. But hey, how do I get there? Because that time's oh. ticking, baby girl. Oh, not the ticking. Tick tock, tick tock. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, wait, you on YouTube right now? I am. But obviously nobody can see you because all, all we can see is the bonnet. Period. <laughs> um, make sure y'all get my good friend over here to Amel. He deserves it. Oh. I'm learning a lot from him just off of this five minute combo. Um, he deserves it, y'all. So do it or I'll beat y'all up. No tea, no shake. Okay. <laughs> well, like anyway, I said, go ahead. Um, you're right. Take advice from married women, but all my all my friends are like they just cry i don't know i don't like people so i don't really talk to people so when my friends come to me and cry to me like that's the first thing they do cry about their relationships and i'll be like oh sis see um this is what i think you should do but i don't know what it is for real so do what what you think is best for you um i learn a lot from relationships outside of mine I don't. I've only been in one relationship my whole life, so oh. just learning off that it taught me a lot. Oh. I could say I have a fair share <clears throat> of. Okay, that changes a lot, though. Oh. You you made it sound like earlier, like you 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 know you've had at least two or three boyfriends. You you went off no. one relationship and said, "Well, the you said to me specifically, you said the men I want can't reach my standard." You've had one man i had one boyfriend yes but i've interacted with like probably like two niggas and well two men so let me stop cursing two bleep (laughs) two men um two men and they didn't make it any better and i've i've that's when i came to a realization like i gotta put me first listen like it's cool and all the love and shit gonna be there forever but i need to run like Mm -hmm. now yeah, but find myself. The love no, will not be I'm there forever. Gonna... You'll be 30 years old and you'll have to buy a dog <laughs> and die alone. Oh. <laughs> now, don't you think that men are always going to be out there ready? You better get, get on right. it now. Okay, um, you're right though. That's why I love talking to you right now because you're teaching me shit and you're stopping me in the midst of talking like, wait sis, hold on. Wait a minute. And I love that. Um, you're right. <laughs> you remind um, me a lot of Cardi B. I won't lie to you. How? Why you say that? Because well, when Cardi B was young, y'all y'all talk alike, and you're from Brooklyn, right? I'm from Brooklyn. Yes. Yeah, I think she's from upstate. I'm not sure though. I from... talk a lot. Yeah, I'm thinking the accent. I'm not saying you literally sound like Cardi B. I'm saying you New Yorkers sound alike, and I just named somebody. Oh. oh okay. Yeah, Young and May. She's from Brooklyn. You sound like Young and May too. Oh, <laughs> that's the whole stud. Like, oh, that that sound like a stud. don't she sound masculine? Like, not really. She me. sounds like a girl to me. When I hear Young and May speak, she sounds like a woman who has a deep voice. That's it. Oh, okay. But I'm not saying you have a deep voice. I'm just saying y'all got that same kind of slang. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's been a lot of shit, but well, my I've hope, a lot. my hope is the next time if we ever come across each other, K, um, mm. that you know, in a couple of years, you'll be uh getting ready for a wedding. Oh, thank yep. you. Because if you're not, guess what? You're gonna hear this again. <laughs> okay. No, you funny as fuck. Cause I need to see that YouTube video if you're really recording, like. <laughs> uploading something well don't worry this oh, this video will go up <laughs> this was a good conversation i'll definitely put this video up no well i need to get to know you though like why do you need to get to know me for because i like learning and hearing like yeah but you're gonna help a lot of other women that's why i want to put you up 
because there's a lot of black women who don't have your mindset. Because most some black women, I talk to them, I'm like, hey, well, maybe you should do this. No, fuck, niggas ain't shit in the conversation. Oh. I, I talked to some other black women the other night, and every girl, there was four women, every girl just said, nigga ain't shit. There's nothing I can say. So black women mm-hmm. need to at least hear you speak so you can help them. That's why I use. Okay. That's why I want to use you because I think you're a good example of you can break out of this before it's too late. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate that, yeah. and I really love spending that time with you to get what I need to get out. Um, could I like at least get your socials to keep up with the video if you upload it? Yeah, well, it's it's, a, it's what can I change? Type it. <laughs> Damn, why not? Hold on. Make a light, come on. All right. What can I change? That's yeah. your YouTube video. Yeah, that's all my socials. Okay. No, no. Cause how am I gonna find you through? What can I change for? Real? No, if you type that into YouTube, I will pop up. Oh, okay. Yeah, just put at say. what can I change. I always pop okay. up because I'm the only YouTuber with this name that I know of. No spaces or space. You can do the spaces as long as you put the at in front of it. You're fine, like this. All right. So you All put, right, well, put that symbol it was in front. Like talking to you. Yep, I appreciate you, lady. Well, period. I don't want to shout myself out. I really don't care. I'm not with the social shit. But y'all learn a little something, something. What can you change? Period. Yep. All right. Make yep. sure y'all get my boy up to a mill. At least he's been trying hard and he's doing him and he's sticking to what he got to do. Do that for him and for yourself because you can learn a lot from his page. Pippa. All right, Kate, you have a good night. Thank you. You too.